And very proud of those ninth graders, ninth grade team. Here you go. Thank you. Hey, how's everybody doing tonight? Uh, I'm going to start with a few thank yous as well uh, for the ninth grade season. First of all, uh, Coach Barfield and Coach Knight, thank you for helping me out this year. Uh, couldn't have done it without you guys. Uh, Mike Nemeth for working the press box. Uh, I thought it was awesome this year. Uh, ninth grade baseball is not the most glorified thing. And uh, the way we did our pregame, uh, I thought it made those kids feel special out here. So I thought it was awesome. Thank you for that. Uh, Mr. Frank and Ms. Gulterman and any other parents that uh, kept the stat book. Um, sometimes it's hard to find parents to do ninth grade book. I know Ms. Gulterman helped us out a lot. Uh, and Mr. Frank when he was there. So we really appreciate that. We want to keep those stats for those guys. Um, everyone who worked in the concession stand, uh, not the funnest job. You don't get to see your son playing the whole time. But uh, really appreciate the parents working the concession stand. Uh, I want to thank Coweta Score for being in a couple ninth grade games this year. I know our guys enjoyed that. Uh, like I said, they never get that much attention. But uh, I thought it was pretty cool that he was there put some tweets out about the ninth grade baseball team. So I thought that was cool. Thank you, Chris. And I uh, hope I didn't leave anyone out, uh, but I appreciate everyone's hard work sacrifices uh, to make this ninth grade baseball season so successful. Uh, I just want to talk about this team. Like Coach Lowe said, I think we had 12 eighth graders and four ninth graders. Uh, youngest team probably in the history of the freshman program here. Uh, it's rare for an eighth grader to even get on the field. You know, I'll try to get them a bat or two there, but uh, we, we had what we had, and those guys stepped up to the plate and uh, did a heck of a job. Uh, really fun group to be around. Uh, I've been here for eight years, and uh, this is probably one of the most fun seasons I've had coaching ninth grade. Uh, we weren't always the biggest or strongest team, but uh, this team played with great fundamentals, and they played the game the right way which is rare to see uh, at the ninth grade level. Uh, very coachable. They came to work to get better every single day. Never had a word or complain about them. Uh, it was always, yes, sir, no, sir. What can I do to be, get better? Uh, no one ever complained. So uh, that's very good to see. Uh, they never quit. You know, I remember we were at Stars Mill and we were down, I don't know, 10 to one, going into the fourth inning. And I could see it in their eyes that they knew they were still in the baseball game. They could have gave up, but they didn't. And uh, I was glad to see they had some fight in them because that's what we need. Uh, I told them every day, and they know this, every day in their inner practice or end of the game, I told them uh, they got ability to be a special group. If they stick together and work every single day, uh, this group stays together, I think they can do some special things one day for this program. So uh, the future is bright for uh, East Coweta baseball. Uh, just to read a few stats off, uh, overall record of 11 and eight. Uh, these guys played in the league championship of the ninth grade tournament, uh, which consisted of teams from Coweta Fett and Henry County. Uh, we had a batting average of 281, on base percentage of 445 and 110 RBIs. Uh, pitching, we had, or sorry, fielding, we had a fielding percentage of 935, which is, I think, one of the highest fielding percentages in ninth grade baseball we've had in the past few years. Uh, 4.01 ERA and 133 strikeouts. Uh, so go ahead and give those guys a ninth grade baseball team a round of applause this year. Guys, I'm going to call you up here when you come up. Coach is going to give you a stat sheet and a, a certificate. So just start the line right here. Uh, this kid right here he did a great job playing third base and shortstop for us this year. Uh, batted most of the year in the leadoff spot. Uh, overall great athlete in the infield. Looking forward to seeing him develop and continue to get better. That's number one, Chris Colton. Uh, this next play uh, can play multiple positions in the outfield and also plays a little bit of second base. Uh, did a great job in relief pitching for us this year. Uh, he finished the season strong at the plate, uh, batted over 400 his last four games. That's number two, Avery Butts. Uh, 
Uh, this kid came to work every single day. Did a great job this season playing in the middle infield. Made some great plays at shortstop all season long and also at second base. Number three, Carson Kish. Uh, another kid right here can play all three positions in the outfield. Has a good arm out there. Uh, I, knew he, I think he threw somebody out at home. Uh, game winning play against Ola this year. Uh, also did a great job on the mound for us. Really excited about him. That's number five, Derek Hand. Uh, next kid, left-handed pitcher. Uh, he did a great job on the mound for us this year. He showed signs of having great stuff, whether it was starting or coming in relief. Excited to see that this kid continue to get better as he gets through our program. That's number seven, Maddox Bridges. Uh, next kid, uh, glad we got him back towards the end of the year. Uh, he finished the season strong on the mound and at the plate. He gave us some great innings pitching this season and also made some great plays in the outfield. That's number eight, Reese Davis. Next kid uh, was a wall behind the plate all season long. Uh, never saw too many pass balls get by him. Uh, suffered an unfortunate injury uh, towards the end of the year, caused him to miss a few games. Uh, this kid right here, one word I described him, he's tough as nails. He came back, and I was able to see him play a few more games. That's number nine, Aaron Abke. Uh, we got another kid who played all three positions in the outfield, mostly uh, center and right, though. He did a great job in center field this season, and he came in to pitch, pitched some great innings for us. Had some great at-bats. I think uh, he was up there uh, maybe first or second on the team at batting average. Uh, looking forward to seeing him in future uh, program. That's number 10, Toby Cope. Uh, this next kid uh, rotated between second base and catcher. Always had the mindset of what can I do to help my team be successful no matter what I asked him to do. This kid works extremely hard. He's only going to get better. That's number 12, Kale Fenimore. Next kid made some great plays in the outfield for us this season. Also did a great job. Uh, was crucial running the bases for us. Uh, whether it was courtesy runner, pitch runner, uh, helped us win a couple ball games. Uh, was always asking what he can do after practice or every game to get better. Uh, number 16, Gavin Lee. Uh, very proud of this next kid. Uh, he had to work through some things. He came back from uh, this year from arm injury and gave us some great innings. We were really glad to get him back. Uh, he was a great teammate all season long in the dugout, whether it was at practice, on the field. Uh, looking forward to seeing him grow in our program. Number 22, Dylan Neiman. This next kid, he pitched and played some first base for us. Uh, start of the year, he had some great innings on the mound at the beginning of the season. Uh, fortunately, he ran into some arm trouble there towards the middle. Uh, he has the potential to do a lot of great things for us at the plate, and I know he will continue to work at that and get better. Number 25, Jackson Calderon.
Here's another example of a kid willing to do anything to help his team be successful. This kid did a great job of playing all positions in the outfield, pitching, and catching. He also has some great at bats and was a key runner on the bases for us. Number 30, Dylan Suter. This next kid did a great job of playing the game the right way all season long. Made some great plays in the middle infield. He was also another wall back there behind the plate for us. Uh, gave us a lot of great, great at bats, and especially in clutch situations. Number 31, CJ Rivera. This next kid wasn't sure how much this next kid uh, played this position before, but he did a great job playing first base for us this year. He was also instrumental for us at the plate this season, especially in RBI situations. Until the guy from Coweta score would always show up, and then I don't know what happened to him. <laughs> well, that's number 33, Connor Goldschmidt. But not least, uh, very proud of this kid for working back from a knee injury he suffered in the fall last year uh, that really limited him. Uh, he really did a good job finishing the season strong at the plate. Uh, he caught a little fire there and also getting in there at third base and caught a few games for us. Looking forward to seeing what his future has in store for him. Number 36, Cub Tenzin. Everybody get a round of applause for your 2021 freshman Indian baseball team.